Did Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt, truly deserve her reputation as the most evil and seductive queen of all time? Was her infamy warranted? Known as the embodiment of intrigue, manipulation, and beauty, Cleopatra was indeed a complex figure. Historians are often divided on their interpretations of her life and reign. Did she use her charm to gain power? Or was it her intelligence and political acumen? Is the truth of her life obscured by the layers of myth and folklore surrounding her or is there more to her story than meets the eye? Born in 69 BCE, Cleopatra VII, Theophilopater, belonged to the Ptolemaic dynasty. This lineage of Greek origin had seized control over Egypt following Alexander the Great's demise. Cleopatra, even from her tender age, was distinct. Being part of the regal lineage, her upbringing was tailored to match the greatness expected of her. Her early exposure to science, literature, and philosophy shaped her into an intellectual force, while her multilingual abilities emphasized her global perspective. She was capable of communicating in as many as nine distinct languages, a testament to her intellectual prowess and dedication. As she grew up, these skills were not just ornamental, they played a pivotal role in her rule contributing to her groundbreaking reign and her interactions with the mighty Roman Empire. These skills would later prove invaluable in her reign and her negotiations with Rome. Cleopatra ascended to the Egyptian throne at the tender age of 17, sharing the title with her 10-year-old brother, Ptolemy the Trikin. She was a woman of stratospheric aspiration, far beyond the norm and her rule was marked by intriguing plots and alliances. Woven intricately into the fabric of her reign were a series of political and romantic alliances that had a profound impact on her kingdom. The most renowned of these were her entanglements with two powerful leaders from Rome, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, each of whom played pivotal roles in shaping her reign and legacy. With an ambition larger than life itself, Cleopatra's rule witnessed many political and romantic entanglements, most famously with the Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. So how did Cleopatra, a queen who ruled over two decades, become synonymous with evil and seduction? Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, was a woman of immense intelligence and charisma. She ascended throne in a time of great political upheaval and territorial conflict. In her quest to safeguard her realm and assert her power, she formed strategic alliances with two of the most powerful men in Rome, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. These were not just passionate love affairs fueled by desire but were also calculated political maneuvers intended to retain Egypt's independence amid Rome's aggressive territorial expansion. Cleopatra's strategic, especially with these influential Romans, were a double-edged sword. On one hand, they ensured Egypt's sovereignty and Cleopatra's rule. On the other hand, they made her a target of Romans who viewed her as a political threat. To them she was no more than a seductive enchantress capable of manipulating and corrupting their leaders. Over time, Cleopatra's image underwent a significant transformation. She went from being revered as a powerful queen and skillful diplomat, to being vilified as an evil seductress. This narrative was not just a product of her contemporaries, but was also perpetuated by historians and storytellers throughout the centuries. These accounts often downplayed her political acumen and leadership abilities and focused more on her supposed seductive traits. The portrayal of Cleopatra as an evil, seductive queen is a narrative that has been perpetuated through the centuries, often obscuring her skills as a leader and diplomat. Despite ruling in a time of great political upheaval, Cleopatra managed to maintain Egypt's independence for much of her reign. This was no small feat, given the tumultuous era in which she lived. Cleopatra was not just a figurehead, she was an active ruler, fully engaged in the political and military strategies that kept her nation afloat. Her ingenuity extended beyond politics, she was a shrewd military leader, she orchestrated a successful campaign against her own brother, a civil war that ended in her favor and solidified her authority over Egypt. She was not one to shy away from conflict if it meant preserving her power and the sovereignty of her land. Under her reign, Egypt also experienced a significant expansion in construction and education. She embarked on ambitious building projects, transforming the architectural landscape of her kingdom. She also prioritized education, recognizing its value in the prosperity of her realm. Moreover, Cleopatra was a queen who deeply respected and embraced her people's culture. She was one of the few members of her dynasty to learn the Egyptian language. This was a significant gesture, 
reflecting her dedication and commitment to her kingdom and its people. She was more than a ruler. She was a leader who cared about the prosperity of her kingdom. Cleopatra's predecessors did not share this same level of cultural immersion, further highlighting her unique approach to rulership. However, Cleopatra's reign came to a tragic end. This powerful queen, heroine of Egypt, was faced with an insurmountable obstacle. Her forces, once the pride of Egypt, had been vanquished by Octavian, later known to the world as the first emperor of Rome, Augustus. This defeat was not merely a military one, but also a deeply personal blow. The historic Battle of Actium, a decisive clash of titans, was the final nail in her royal coffin. In the face of these overwhelming circumstances, Cleopatra made a choice. A choice to remain autonomous, steadfast, and unyielding. She chose to end her life, maintaining her autonomy to the very end. To summarize, Cleopatra's life and rule were far more complex than the simplistic labels of evil and seductive. Born into a frantic and unpredictable political atmosphere, Cleopatra, with her exceptional cunning and intelligence, successfully navigated the turbulent waters of politics to safeguard Egypt's sovereignty for an extended period. Emerging as a ruler par excellence, she braved the chaos and uncertainties of her time, steering her kingdom towards stability and growth. Her alliances with influential Roman leaders, though controversial and often subject to criticism, were not whimsical decisions. Instead, they were strategic moves, each meticulously planned and implemented to fortify her kingdom's defense and ensure its continued survival amidst the powerful Roman Empire's looming threats. It was a desperate lunge toward survival in a time of unpredictable alliances, frequent power shifts. Her reign was marked by significant advancements in infrastructure and education, laying the groundwork for a prosperous Egypt. She facilitated the construction of roads, bridges, and centers of learning, fostering an environment for intellectual and cultural growth. As a result, her rule was not only about survival, but also about prosperity and progress. Furthermore, she displayed an extraordinary level of cultural sensitivity, a trait that was rare among her contemporaries. She respected the traditions and customs of her people, embracing them wholeheartedly and integrating them into her governance. It showcased a rare blend of leadership and understanding that only added to her unique appeal. The tragic conclusion to her life added to the intrigue and mystique that surrounded her rule. Her end, though tragic, further intensified the fascination and curiosity associated with her life, making her story even more engaging and intriguing. So was Cleopatra the most evil and seductive queen of all time? That's a matter of perspective. But one thing is clear, she was far more than just a seductress. She was a queen, a diplomat, a warrior, and a scholar. Her story is a testament to the complexities of history and the power of perspective.